Well, first of all, it all begins with people. Um, my wife had a, uh, a double mastectomy a number of years ago, and we came out of that experience with a life mantra. Life is people. Life is people. Life is people. It all begins with people. And when we began doing our research years ago in what became good to great, of course, we expected that you would always have some sort of charismatic, visionary force that would lead companies from good to great by taking people and motivating them to go there. And that is, of course, not what we found. We found that those who took companies from good to great first figured out who should be on the bus and who should be off the bus and who should be in what seats, and then they figured out where to drive the bus. First get the right people, first get them in the right seats, then figure out where to drive the bus. This is what we found. It always began with first getting the right people. I mentioned the mastectomy experience, and the power of this lesson came back to me in a personal way. It was a moment of disruption in our lives, and I was nervous and uncertain and not sure what we should do, and of course, what did I do when I was afraid? The absolute enduring love of my life. Well, I went right to what? What's the diagnosis? What's the treatment? What's the schedule? What, 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 what? And Joanne says to me, why don't you read your own book? <laughs> You're asking the wrong question. The question is not what. It's who. Who should be the oncologist? Who should be the radiologist? Who should be the surgeon? If we get the right who's on the bus, we will get the best outcomes. So if you want to help me, Jim, help me find the right people for this bus. It applies in everything. When you're facing a challenge, when you're facing uncertainty, when you're facing a question, try to change every what question into a who question. Try to change every what question into a who question. And of course, as the world goes more out of control and more unpredictable and more chaotic, this becomes increasingly important. We did not find in our research on turbulence and chaos that those who do well are better able to predict what is going to come. They have no better ability than you or I do. What they do is they have the ability to prepare for what they cannot possibly predict. And if you're going to go up on a big, dangerous, scary mountain that could have all kinds of storms and things that you don't predict, what is the single most important decision you make? It's not your strategy for climbing the mountain. It is who you have as your climbing partner, who you know that no matter what will always save your life. Note, though, of course, there is still leadership in all of this. And we have to ask the question, what distinguishes those exceptional leaders? And it's not personality. We live in a culture that reveres personality, reveres charismatic forces, reveres the idea that it is a force of personality. Force of personality is not the same as leadership. 